Cause you've got me and you know And I've got you and I know If the tide takes California I'm so glad I got to hold ya Okay, so this is my building If I could describe my freshman year of college I would say that it was memorable a little nostalgic, crazy, unexpected, but it was mine, my experience, and it was fun. So I'm super bored, and so um, I decided I'm gonna vlog this week's school week. I had two great months at my dorm. My roommate was nice, my hall was quiet, and as lonely as I was physically, I never at all felt it. Oh, it smells <laughs> literally horrible. Oh my god. This is the fit and now we hurry because we're actually late for our first test. I was excited, proud, content with the fact that I had well, I had made it. And now we got free drinks. <laughs> what is this? My mom had never been too fond of the idea of me staying on campus, but with it being a requirement set by the University of Georgia for all first year students, you know, it was pretty inevitable. And so we had a deal. I could stay on campus as long as I came home on weekends. Every weekend I had to be home. Downtown Atlanta. In my opinion, it renders our bus station as not being a safe place. While you are here, exercise good common sense. Was it tough? Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> the amount of scary greyhounds taken, money wasted, strangers met, but even all of those stressful experiences I don't regret. So like, this bus, just chilling there, like, there's nobody inside, <laughs> so I'm literally just standing on the street. <laughs> um, yeah. Getting stranded in the middle of the night in Atlanta because my bus that I had paid for never arrived was probably the worst. It was horrible, I was scared, I was alone, there was strangers walking all around me, but not even that I would change. <laughs> I right now, right now, um, the bus canceled. Like we kept calling, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, so due to I don't know whatever, I guess it broke down. They canceled it, and I've been waiting out here in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, for an hour. So um, yeah, I hate my life, and I have a 9 a.m. tomorrow. I don't know when or how I'm gonna get there. So and people like people keep coming up to me, and I'm. Just, I hate life, I hate life, I hate it. I'm here now. Class starts in like 20 minutes. I wouldn't change it because I loved being on campus. Although, yeah, most of the time I was locked up in my room <laughs> because um, I was like scared to go to the library and study there. So I would just study in my room and stuff. But the few times that I did go out, it was great. It was amazing. I made a long-lasting best friend. I only made one friend in college, but that one friend was all I could have asked for. Hi. <laughs> this is my only friend. Oh my god. <laughs> so if I ever went out and exploring, if I went downtown Athens, when I went to the library the first time, all of those experiences, I had them with her. <laughs> We're doing yoga in the art gallery. <laughs> I've never heard an ohm so powerful in my life. She was like, ohm. And the whole room was vibrating, I swear. <laughs> the arch which we cannot, will not walk under because we are trying to graduate. So we walk around it. <laughs> 
Our feet are soaking wet. Oh my god! We met in walking class. We in walking class out here. <laughs> Funny, I know. Everybody laughed at me when they found out that I was taking a walking class. But I was not about to exercise. I've never even <laughs> told anyone this to be honest, so I guess I'm kind of like ratting myself out. But um, she pep talked me <laughs> into doing something that I never would have ever possibly imagined doing. I was like, okay, you know what? If she's doing it, like, <laughs> I'll do it too. So, <laughs> I don't even, I haven't even told my mom about this because this is so embarrassing. Like, nobody knows. So, I'm guess, you know, I guess the whole world is gonna know now. But, um, <laughs> so, you know, we wanted to join a club. So, we went to the like little club meeting and stuff like that. And there was a booth. <laughs> there was like two booths. <laughs> and I was like acapella <laughs> and believe it or not <laughs> that's what we did we signed up for the auditions <laughs> and we went ah! this is probably the craziest thing I've ever done we <laughs> we didn't get in <laughs> shocker we didn't get in that was pretty pathetic but I asked them if I could face the wall to see <laughs> and they let me they just let me they're probably like this idiot she's not going in she can't even sing in front of us but yeah i faced the wall and i sang to the wall and i had to do two songs so i sang one in spanish and then i sang one in english thinking it would give me a little oomph but um it didn't see that blob of a person right there that can't really be seen yup that's my friend <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never singing again. Yeah. <laughs> and he can see so <laughs> Everything is perfect! Except for his sexual process. <laughs> Apart from hanging out with my friend, um, I also really enjoyed the free food! You have no idea how many times you're just walking around campus and they're just giving away free food and me. A starving child who did not pay for a meal plan because who has the money for that? I needed the free food and I was very appreciative of it. Very, 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 very. Right now it seems like only good things have been spoken about in this video so let me just um take it down a notch because something horrible also happened while i was on campus and that was ladies and gentlemen drum roll please bed bugs yes i had bed bugs in my dorm um, yeah, and that was like a horrible what? Uh, how long did it last? Two, three weeks? That was horrible. I had to put all of my clothes in bags, like everything. Everything that I owned in bags, take it like back home, clean it, wash it, whatever. Like I had to do so much stuff. Um, that was, that, that was the worst. Um, I am lucky to say though that my bed didn't have any bed bugs. It was my roommate's. She was the one that had them. I guess it's time that I spoke on about homework. My first semester, I really didn't have much except for all those essays. Oh my lord. It was like essay, back to back, essay, back to back, essay, back to back, essay. I had my English class. I needed essays for that. I had a philosophy class. They required five essays as my final five different essays. And then... I had to give essays for my art class. This was my art essay. There's literally, n all I have is a title. All I have is the title. As quickly as my campus life started, that's how fast it all ended when COVID hit, of course, as we all know. <laughs> and then everything turned online, came home, 
for spring break and then never returned. It's been fun, but now it's time to leave. And thus the beginning of Zoom era. I hated every single minute of it. I really did. I really did. I did have chemistry that second semester, which was a blessing and a curse. Blessing because I was able to go back on campus every other week for my labs. A curse because that class ruined my GPA. It was horrible. Horrible. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Three hour lab is not it. My legs hurt. They hurt. And then as quickly as a blink of an eye. Tomorrow's my last day of school. <laughs> now we sit back and we relax because school who? She don't exist no more. She's not in my vocabulary. Guess who passed all her classes? Guess who passed chemistry? Me. <laughs> I clearly had a very eventful first year of college. Now with that being said, I know I'm not in college right now. It's a whole different ordeal, but um, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I loved making it. Um, this video took me like 10 hours of editing and like it was a lot of work. Um, right now it's like 2 a.m. So, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you like me. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Love you guys so much. Oh, I know I had the best time falling